In today's lecture, we will see the Bluetooth protocol stack. As usual, we will start the session with the outcomes. Upon the completion of the session, the learner will be able to understand the Bluetooth protocol stack. So, in today's session, we are exclusively focusing on the Bluetooth protocol stack. And before we go into the Bluetooth protocol stack, let's revisit the PicoNet and the ScatterNet. We know the basic network configuration in Bluetooth is the PicoNet where we can have a master node which can cater up to 7 slave nodes and group of PicoNet is called as the ScatterNet where a master in one PicoNet can be a slave in another PicoNet. So this is the basic network configuration which we call as the PicoNet and the collection of PicoNet is called as the ScatterNet. Let's now see the Bluetooth protocol stack. And here is the Bluetooth protocol stack. We have various layers like physical layer, data link layer, middleware layer and finally the application layer. In this video lecture series, we are talking about the computer networks in a bottom up manner that is from the physical layer to the application layer. Likewise, in the topic Bluetooth protocol stack, we will deal with the bottommost layer that is the physical layer and we will move towards the application layer. So let's start with the bottommost layer which is the physical layer and the first layer is the physical radio layer. The physical radio layer, it performs modulation and demodulation of the data into radio signals. Suppose, if one Bluetooth device is going to send data to another Bluetooth device, so whatever it is generated in the device, it is the data. So those data have to be converted into radio signals. So this layer converts the data into radio signals or radio waves. Now what are the other things that this layer focuses on? It defines the physical characteristics of Bluetooth transceivers. So transceivers means it can be a transmitter as well as a receiver because this Bluetooth adapter, when it is a sender, it is going to transmit and when it is a receiver, it is going to receive. So that Bluetooth adapter, that physical radio is going to act as the transmitter as well as a receiver. And that is why it is called as the transceiver. And it also defines two types of physical link. Generally, in computer network, we have two types of services. One, the connectionless services and number two, the connection oriented services. In connectionless services, data will take any path. Whereas in connection oriented services, data will take the predefined path. We are done with the physical radio layer. Now we will move on to the next layer, which is the baseband layer. So this baseband layer or baseband link layer, it performs connection establishment within a PicoNet. We know the PicoNet is the basic network configuration in a Bluetooth network. If one device wants to communicate with another device, if the connection has to be established between these two devices, then this baseband layer is going to take care of these connection establishment within a PicoNet. Now let's move on to the next layer, which is the link manager. This link manager protocol layer, it performs the management of already established links. It means if the connection is already established between two nodes and the management of these established links are handled by this link manager protocol or link manager layer. And then this link manager layer is also concentrating on security services as well. What are the services? It also includes authentication and encryption processes. Authentication means ensuring that the right entity is involved in the transactions or in the network. And encryption means suppose if one Bluetooth device is sending the data to another Bluetooth device, if it is encrypted, then no other nodes can see the data what is being transmitted between the sender and the receiver. Only the sender and the receiver knows what data that is being actually transmitted between them. So this layer focuses on the management part as well as the security services. And then comes the logical link control adaptation layer or the adaptation protocol. So it is also known as the heart of the Bluetooth protocol stack because this is going to be the interface between the upper layers and the lower layers. And that is why it is considered to be the heart of the Bluetooth protocol stack. It allows the communication between upper and the lower layers of the Bluetooth protocol stack. So it packages the data packets received from the upper layers in the form expected by the lower layers. It also performs the segmentation and multiplexing. Say, from the upper layer, we will get only data. And these data have to be converted into the form which the lower layers can understand. So this conversion on all is taken care by this logical link control adaptation layer or the adaptation protocol. In addition to this, it also does segmentation as well as multiplexing. Segmentation means suppose if big data is generated by the application layer, then that cannot be sent as a single stretch. We know Bluetooth is suffering from lower data rate. 
So it has to be broken into pieces which we normally call as segments. So the segmentation part is taken care by this layer. Also, when the channel is used by many nodes at the same time, then multiplexing is taken care by this part only. Then comes the next part that is RFCOM layer. That is, it is the short form of radio front end component. So it provides serial interface with WAP and OBEX. WAP means wireless application protocol and OBEX means it is object exchange. Then comes the next part that is the TCS, that is the telephony control protocol. So it means it is used for doing telephony services. What are the various well-known telephony services? We can use Bluetooth devices for voice services, fax services or even data services. So this layer is responsible for dealing with that. And then comes the SDP layer. SDP means the service discovery protocol. It allows to discover the services available on another Bluetooth enabled device. So in a Bluetooth enabled device, if you want to know what are the services that are running, so this layer is responsible for dealing with that. Then comes the final layer, which is the applications or profile. So there are some profiles or applications that are predefined. So these applications are going to have the complete suite of protocols. And this is the layer that is actually going to interact with the application. And we have few parts like audio, which is for audio communication and control related activities are done by these layers. And we also have other services, which I am not going to deal in today's session. And that's it guys. I hope now you understood the Bluetooth protocol stack. I hope you enjoyed the lecture and thank you for watching.